Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Hope you're having a great holiday. Listen, we're going to get to a free play in baseball in just a minute with some things to discuss all coming up. But first, a quick note. If you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, you click on the link below the video and you get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com or any other capper for that matter on the roster. Again, all you got to do to get started, give it a trial run. Click on the link below the video get that free $60 account again happy 4th of July I hope yours will go well if you're watching this early it has gone well if you're watching it late free pick in just a moment couple of quick notes those NFL over under win recaps those will be coming up during the all-star break in baseball we'll tell you more about that as we get into the weekend as far as everything else nice sweep for us last night uh, 1-0 in baseball we won yet another Major League Baseball midweek mismatch those are now 117 and 75 long term 3-0 the last three weeks our other play, there was a pitching change, so we got a no play of that. As you know, when we do our write-ups, we always tell you to list the pitchers. So 1-0 in baseball as we had a run line winner with the Nats. And as far as the WNBA, yet another winner, a five-unit win with underdog New York. They're off today, by the way, on Thursday, the WNBA. But we'll be back on Friday, and we're on a 10-3, and 77% winning run in the WNBA. Uh, we're up over $2,000 during this run for $100 per unit betters. As far as baseball and the CFL, you know about how we've done in the CFL for many, many years. Baseball, I've got two plays for Thursday, both available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. One of those sides is a six-unit play, an elite-level play, so don't miss out on that on Thursday. And then as far as the CFL, I've got a seven-unit main event going this week. We look to stay perfect in the CFL through the first four weeks. We are up $2,000 for $100 per unit players during our 3-0 start to the season. Seven-unit play will post Thursday, today, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, and as you know, exclusively over at DocSports.com. So be sure to go grab those plays. Two baseball plays, premium picks, personal plays, including that six-unit side. And then we've got the big seven-unit week four play in the CFL that'll be posted at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific time. Let's continue to stay perfect in the CFL. Let's stay red hot. And, uh, and, and again, those plays available on Thursday over at Doc Sports. All right, real quick uh, note before I get to the free picks this weekend, as far as NASCAR is concerned, a special night that we're going to post our NASCAR picks at DocSports.com. The race in on Saturday this week, and we'll have our picks posted Friday by 11 p.m. Pacific time. We're up over $2,100 in NASCAR for $100 per unit betters going back to the 1st of May. Just been red hot. We won again last weekend with Harvick over Kyle Busch. My, uh, also, my UFC picks for this week's card will be posted Friday night by the same time, 11 p.m. Pacific time. So go grab those on Friday night. Let's get to the free pick for Thursday. We are looking at the clash between the Braves and the Phillies. It'll be Mike Soroka for Atlanta. Boy, is he been red hot against Zach Eflin. And the thing about Soroka, he has been absolutely tearing it up. He's got an ERA just over two on the season, a whip just under one. He's been extremely tough to get to. Same cannot be said for Zach Eflin. If you look at what he's done of late as far as Eflin is concerned, he's given up 24 hits in his last three starts. That's concerning. He was pitching better before that, but 24 hits allowed in his last 17 innings of work, and we know what the Braves have done all season long. It doesn't seem to matter who they face or whether a pitcher is a righty or a lefty. They just keep scoring a ton of runs, especially through this month of June that we just completed. People talked about all those Yankee home runs. Well, guess who was at the top of the list when it came to RBIs for June and home runs for June. The Atlanta Braves are right there all month long as they headed into the month of July. And uh, we think they get to Eflin here. They've just been tearing up righties. Eflin, as I mentioned, struggling a little bit, giving up 24 hits in his last 17 innings pitched. Also, the Phils have won just seven of his last 26 road starts, and they have not done well or he with him on the mound uh, when he's been on the road against teams with a winning record overall for a while now. So we're going to back the Atlanta Braves here. Mike Soroka over Eflin and the Phillies. The Braves uh, laying the price on Thursday. July 4th. Again, don't forget what's going on for us on Thursday. We've got the two baseball sides, uh, personal premium picks over at DocSports.com, 11.30 a.m. Eastern. That six-unit knockout uh, is the lead play in baseball. And then, of course, as I mentioned, the big seven-unit main event in the CFL as we look to stay perfect on the season will post and be available 6 p.m. Eastern time, DocSports.com. Hey, listen, what again, wish you a happy holiday, happy 4th of July. Man, I love this country. Feel so darn lucky to have been born in the U.S. 
USA. And uh, we celebrate the holiday, and I want you to do it safely, and I want you to do it in a winning fashion. Best of luck to you on Thursday. We'll be right back here Friday morning by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific time, if not before that. And uh, listen, if you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. Be right back here Friday. Let's put 4th of July in the win column. Have a great holiday. Enjoy it. Enjoy it in winning fashion. Scott Spritz or DocSports.com. We'll talk to you Friday morning.